Jason, you guys had such a bright start to this game tonight. Uh, was there a drop off when you had so many chances that, that didn't go down in the first half? I think it's always going to be a little mentally frustrating uh, when you get some clear chances and you don't take them. Um, but I think our guys put all the right effort into it. Uh, already, I don't made it very, very difficult. Obviously, in the second half, literally 11 players almost in their penalty box. Um, and it's always going to be difficult to score when you're playing an opponent like that. So um, I didn't expect that. I expected already Allen to come out and play a little bit more soccer tonight. I didn't think that they would muddle up the game as they did. Wow, that's a quick one. Thanks. <laughs> Really, really, really proud of the uh, of the men out there. Uh, at halftime, I told them the performance was spectacular uh, in my eyes. We did all the things that we need to do to to win these big games, except for that final touch. Um, and it would just come down to one player being able to make one play uh, in the game. I really felt like it would come tonight. Um, a little bit shocked that it didn't. Um, but we need to move forward very quickly because we've got a a pretty big uh, tournament of our own in front of us. Jason, speaking of that, uh, the, the other coach just talked about Real Salt Lake and the unity that you saw out today. What do you think about that coming into the uh, the playoffs soon? That how well they played together as a team. I'm pleased. As I said, you know, watching in the first half, I felt like it was um, the first game of the playoffs last year, or some of the playoff games uh, in in uh, '09. Just some of the some of our very best stuff. Um, and as I said, you know, if we we just get that final strike, then things look a lot different. Um, but unfortunately, they didn't. I think as a coach, sometimes you have to be able to lead the group and say, we did everything that it took. We were just a little bit unlucky tonight. Uh, how do you change focus from this quickly and not let this affect the playoffs? Um, I think in some ways it's a good thing we have another game on Saturday, uh, another match for us to, to, to turn right around and get focused on. Um, and then, you know, playoffs start very quickly after that. So uh, we need to there's, – there's just no other choice. Uh, I, I just think we've got to, we've got to uh, feel sorry for ourselves a little bit tonight, and then tomorrow move forward. How how much does uh, how things unfolded in Seattle and here tonight show the importance of Saborio for your club? Yeah, you know, uh, we we know he's an important player. He seems to be the one that that always is able to take that make that crucial play in the penalty box to 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 make the difference. Uh, and when we play without him, you know, we don't typically have somebody that's always in the box, always there to make that finish for us uh, and try to get players like Espindola and Paulo to do a little bit more of that, but that's just not, not their natural position. Jason, did this game feel at all like the Monterey game and the, the opportunity was there and you just couldn't get that goal? Um, maybe a little bit, but I think Monterey, when they came here, played quite a bit more soccer than Heredia. seemed to be interested in playing tonight. Because um, they scored the goal, and then after that, you know, the second half was very similar. Because uh, Monterey was just holding on, uh, and it is, you know, frustrating. But I know how difficult it is. I don't think people have such an appreciation for how difficult it is. If you put 11 players right outside your penalty box, it's pretty difficult to score against that. Jason, does this new format of Champions League end up with matches like this where teams are going to pack it in because they know all they have to do is not give up the game? Um, I th you know, I think in any tournament play where you know that, that uh, a draw is going to be good enough, you're going to end up with that. So I don't know that it changes by having three teams or four teams in each group. Um, and, you know, I, I think in, in some part it's up, to the, it's up to the people that are officiating the game as well to change things a little bit. Because tonight he has an option. He has the ability to, to extend the time because of the number of times players go down and faking injuries. That's, for me, it's, it's ugly. Uh, it's not what the sport's about, and, and, and referees need to be smart enough to say, we're going to add on time. And then when they fall down to take a goal kick in the extra time, then you add on time to added time. Uh, and you make sure that, that teams understand that they will be punished for that. Yeah, I thought Luis had a pretty strong game. I thought there was times in the first half where he could have been a bit more aggressive for us, running the ball at guys and getting behind them. He pulled it off a couple of times, but I thought there was four or five opportunities for him to do so. And come to find out, he was not feeling great tonight. He's been battling a bit of a sickness since he got back from the, 
his national team duties over in Spain, and, and I don't think he's quite fully recovered from it yet, but still he had some bright moments. I don't know. Yeah, I'm really concerned with that situation because now to have Schuler and Alave out this time would, would not be good for us. Can you talk just a little bit about the play of their goalkeeper? It seemed like he made a lot of spectacular saves yeah, tonight. Yeah, he made some, made some very, very big saves for them tonight and uh, has to be viewed as probably the most important man of the match. And then going down late, that was probably pretty good for them too. Is there anything specific you do with Fabian Espindola? He had a really hard time after the Monterey match and had a similar miss tonight. Um, I don't think so. I think that Fabian's learned from it. Uh, I think that he'll move on pretty quickly from this. I mean, that was the, the penultimate game in a, in a history-making opportunity for us. Tonight's a little different. I mean, yeah, we, we didn't advance in the tournament, but this wasn't the final or anything. If you can talk really briefly, we haven't really talked about the weather, but the weather today with the fans staying and with, with the way the uh, Real Psych was playing, even with that rain, uh, what do you think about all that weather and everything? Uh, just, um, you know, again, you don't get enough opportunities to say time and time again how much we appreciate our fans. Uh, I thought they were awesome tonight. Uh, and I think that our group really feeds off the energy that the fans can provide. So uh, together, we, we performed, the fans, the, the team, very, very well. We're just a little unlucky.